customer originally called us because all this farmland you see here, it's um, it's shrinking and sinking a half an inch to three quarters of an inch a year. The main reason why is all this organic matter is decomposing. This house behind me, they were redoing the foundation about every 10 to 15 years and um, they got sick and tired of doing that. We had a lot of background information because this conservatory, this island, is owned by 1501C3. So they get kickbacks from uh, the, the flood control board, the levee board, the Army Corps of Engineers, and all these places are studying what's going on down here in the Delta. Finally, what we ended up deciding to do, we, we had a, a soils report from the USGA and a, a separate engineer as well. So we had a blow count. We knew what was going on here and we used our, our um, pre-construction piles as a, as a forever solution. The first thing we did was get this thing cribbed up and lift it, um, I believe about nine and a half, ten feet off the ground. We demoed the, the existing foundation completely. We ended up installing 52 helicals and um, we wanted depth, so we used 10 inchers. Um, we didn't use depth reducers. We didn't use a bunch of big discs. We wanted depth. Um, all these piles went between, I think about 39 to 49 feet, somewhere in there. And um, it's a pretty light house that's not what it wasn't weight we were fighting it was this this organic matter that is decomposing and settling every year you can see in here we got grade beam that comes down the middle um grade beam that comes down the middle there and so we're we're sharing the load as much as we can and the engineer designed this to where if you essentially took the soil away from underneath this structure it's not going anywhere in total, um, it's been a while. One thing pitfall that we ran into here is all these government agencies. FEMA was was a real struggle. The levy board, the flood control board. You know, we, we learned a lot doing this, and and surprisingly, we got through it pretty easy. Um, and and I credit that to some of the guys in our office um, who helped push the paperwork, the engineers. And um, sometimes it's just you know how you talk to um, the building officials. And so here we are. We're finally to the end. Tomorrow we'll have this thing back down, and we will be out of here. And I'll take any questions about it. But it's it's we learned a lot from this one. I think we could. We could probably pull off a job just like this in probably half the time now. Um, the helical part of it was easy. Um, it was all the other stuff. So um, that's it from NorCal Ramjack. Thanks.